There's the red maple. And look at the, you can just barely, I barely caught it. Feeding on the, the red maple. Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Forgot my intro, didn't I? It's a nice day, it's still cool out. It might be 50, but the bees are very active. And uh, I got a little video where there's on some hembit. And I'm out here at this red maple tree looking around. And one problem that I've said with this red maple or any is uh, it seems like it's always bad timing when, uh, when they bloom. It's just like you have a series of bad rains for three or four days and it knocks out three quarters of, of the nectar flow. Look here already on the ground. You know, it just today's the first day that it's not rained. It's Monday. And uh, look, it, it, they're already dropping off on the ground. So they got very little on there. So that's why I'm saying you can't depend on the red maple. It, that's when it's time to start feeding. You better get your bees some kind of uh, feed, wet feed, not dry sugar. Get them a two to one sugar mix. Because if you don't, these bees now are going active for nectar and pollen. And it's begun. Here in North Georgia, the nectar flow has begun. It's small, and that's why you see on the little video clip that I'm going to put on there of the, the, the bees feeding on the hembit. And you rarely do see them feeding on hembit. They, they do, but it's not, it's not often that you see a lot of bees on it. But the red maple opening up triggers a response for them to start feeding. And the red maple, if it's not viable for use now, they're going after something. And their population is going to start exploding. It's just a little bit cold right now. It may be why there's not many out on the trees right now because it's still it's windy and cold it's sunny but it's probably maybe 50 degrees maybe you hardly ever see it but look at this bee honey bee feeding on this hen but i don't know why they they do feed on it but for some reason it's just really hard to catch them in the act of feeding on it you see this little girl going around tearing this little patch up right here. There she goes. When you look out through the yard here, look at everything that's starting to bloom out. There's some hembit, uh, dandelions, and look at the number of dandelions popping up. And from here I can see the honeybees. A little bit if the dog don't flush off the honey bees before I get out to them but look out through there look at the the hembit patch and then the dandelions they're just all over the place and like I said these winter dandelions they uh, the ones that survive stay very low to the ground you see a honey bee if I can get out of the sun right there feeding uh, it, they lay very low to the ground and that's why these survive because if a frost hits them being that low to the ground it they dodge the the free the freeze the frost look there yeah I'm coming more more upon them there's more and more here so there's definitely a triggered response from the red maple so it's uh here in north georgia wherever you're at uh, you know i make these videos and people maybe get tired of them but this is very important this is when this is when people lose bees the most is because they're coming out of winter and they're losing resources and they start multiplying because of this reaction but they're just not bringing in enough not enough to sustain life and to give them stores and so they overpopulate and next thing you know 
your hide that looked great and wonderful coming out of the winter is now dead and you're like what happened well look in there look in your hive and expect it inspect you you either uh run out of pollen or run out of uh honey and that's it's very important and these early videos i like to try to get this out very important but look look out through here through the yard look they're just the dandelions and the hem but are everywhere and and they're feeding on it trying to lead chubbs the bee dog he's trying to be a little bit difficult there's a cat out there and he's trying to get to the cat but i just wanted to walk around and show you what all's blooming here and last year last year was a very bad year we had a very late freeze and i have a lot of fruit trees i got uh there's peach trees right down there and there's a pear tree right here these are my blueberries and that late freeze killed about everything you can see uh it won't be long before these bust out into bloom but last year we lost 90 percent and the only reason we didn't lose all of them was because of this shed right here at the time had my camper and it kind of shielded just a little bit just a little bit enough to uh to, to keep them alive okay here's what i'm talking about look at this little colony right here you can tell just by the number of bees going in and out that they're busting at the seams in population <laughs> they're dodging up my face they're busting at the seams and there's a lot of them now they are bringing you can see they're bringing in a lot of pollen they're still grumpy it's not a good time of year for messing with bees it's still considered winter we're not even into march but uh you can tell there's a lot of bees in this little hive now if i don't get feed to this they they may have enough in there they may have plenty but if they don't and they got this many bees and they're hatching off remember bees don't stop laying they lay all year long they don't stop they slow down always remember that bees do not stop production they just slow down things like this the nectar flow the maple the red maple triggers them into a response to start laying more eggs therefore they got to have more pollen more nectar more honey to feed those bees that they're hatching off so remember that so even though you see something like this if i don't check if i don't make sure they got enough in there or start feeding them they could be dead in a week so that's when that, that's why i make these videos early it's so important trying to get that in people's heads especially a new beekeeper don't think you're through the woods yet don't think that your uh your troubles or your problems are over because you made it through the winter it's it's not done just keep that in mind just something i want to put out the barnyard bees and let us know in other parts of your country you know how the the red maple and, and other bloom is doing let people know this will help them out by telling them this they can go and start feeding their bees because in their area they may not be seeing what we're seeing you know with the red maples and seeing them on the red maples or they're they may not be just be uh watching as close as what we are so help them out help out the new beekeeper we need every beekeeper we can get and we don't want their bees to die so that's about it folks don't forget click on the little bell like and subscribe don't forget barnyardbees.com for all your beekeeping supplies and nukes packages and such. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.